Now we've been walking around a little bit. We saw the falls last night and everything. And everywhere we go, I, I, I say, "Hey, Robert, you got to show them your muscles." Yeah. So Now for the video, do you mind? I oh, sure. I haven't warmed up. Here we off, uh, There we go. How's that? Niagara Falls tan yesterday. <laughs> Beautiful Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Loved it. Loved it. I gotta think. I gotta think of cool things to say. I gotta think of I. <laughs> I need to brainificate. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unique American here in uh, Canada. <laughs> I can, not I can't. <laughs> right? That's where we are. <laughs> Niagara Falls, get back up. <laughs> right? <laughs> in Niagara, stand up on your feet. <laughs> your bootstraps like we do in America. <laughs> right, that kind of stuff. Absolutely. That's, that's alright. I'm sure you're planting seeds all the time. That's that, that one day will grow into, uh, into strong vegan trees. Robert Appleseed over here. Robert Appleseed. <laughs> extras. Oh wow, look at this. We have to get a shot. Can we get a shot? Uh, our, our wonderful camera. Wow. Person. Look at this. Look at this food. Wow, that is gorgeous. See the music kicked in right then too? <laughs> I can feel it. This is what you call food of epic proportions. You, you've eaten large amounts of different types of, uh, of I, foods. I'm yeah, sure. yeah, I've consumed large amounts of lots of things. 12 <laughs> bagels in a day, 18 tofu hot dogs in a day, yeah, yeah. Uh, entire vegan pizzas in a day, <laughs> uh, many sandwiches in a day. Uh, You're a grown boy. And, and many, many fruits, many salads, all those kinds of things in a day as well. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I really, uh, what I really focus on is plant-based whole foods. You know, I don't really care if it's if it's raw or if it's cooked. You know, some people call me Robert, some people call me Cooksbert. It, either one, I'm fine with. I do both. Yeah. So, uh, what I really do is emphasize the fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, and that's why I really, I really do. I, I mean that seriously when I say just go eat a burrito. Or when I'm talking about nutrition and protein and everything else, because what's in a burrito minus the tortilla, you know? But what's in a burrito? Well, you have oftentimes brown rice or some sort of rice in general or grain, quinoa maybe. So you have, you have brown rice, you have beans, sometimes multiple different types of beans, black beans, pinto beans, whatever you like. You have avocado, tomatoes, romaine, lettuce. So you can even add broccoli into a burrito, tofu, tempeh, whatever you like. It really, when you think about it, wow, nutrient dense, caloric rich, protein packed, variety, you know, chlorophyll rich, lots of greens in there, antioxidant, vitamin, mineral rich, but different types of foods. That's a great way to go. I uh, and it can be a burrito, it can be a wrap, it can be in a bowl. Where one of the best meals that I ever do, nutrition wise and getting the most out of it, yeah. the highest return on investment is simply a bowl with grains in it, quinoa or brown rice, beans, maybe pinto or, or um, kidney beans or black beans, and then kale and tempeh. There you go. Big bowl, that's the same thing you'd find in a burrito, but without the tortilla. When you talk about variety, right? You say you eat much more variety on a plant-based diet now. Think about the opposite. An, an animal-based diet, look at your variety. You, you have chicken, turkey, beef, and pork, and like, that's it. Because yeah. that's the foundation of your diet. You have four different options, that, or maybe fish, okay? You have four or five options, period, that's it. And then you, you add a few extra things in, maybe your potatoes uh, or the salads boring. or greens. But I mean, you, you don't have variety. People eat, including in the bodybuilding world, yeah. chicken oh. uh, every single. What, what a bore! What a bore! Not, not only boring. What a just uh, an inflammatory, poor health, uh, contributing to uh, disease and illness and all these different things. I mean, that's what you get with it's something like really chicken. That you eat every single day. We finished with this final thought, and then let's start eating some food. Yeah, yeah. The soup's gonna get cold. It is. Can't let that happen. Okay. Uh, I said this yesterday, in my radio interview last night, and I say it all the time that, like you said, we didn't. Sometimes we didn't understand or think about the fact that eating a plant-based diet is actually superior. We think we can. Okay, maybe we can get by. We can be hopefully equivalent to what we used to eat before, or what other athletes eat, or this and that. But n now, as we learn more, we're learning that yeah, it actually is superior and we should have known the whole time because where does nutrition come from? Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, essential fats, complete protein, where does it come from? In its original form, it comes from plant-based whole foods. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, that's where it comes from. It makes sense to go to the original source, the primary source of nutrition, rather than a secondary source that comes with not only pain, fear, and suffering, slaughter, and 
unlimited amount of resources used, you know, water, land, and all this other stuff, but it comes with uh, cholesterol, saturated fat, all this unwanted stuff, hormones, antibiotics, all these things in the food. Why have that? Just go to the source of regular nutrition, have it digested easily, assimilate it, provide real energy, and get out there and seize the day. <laughs> Yeah, go vegan. Fueled by ketchup. No, it's kidding. Thank you very much. Thanks, Robert. Yeah, you see, well, we can get back on. We can get back on later. Show our sandwiches. But right now, look at this. Are you kidding me? We gotta get. To, we gotta start eating. Please. <laughs> Chili and toast. Oh, nice. I love the portions here. This is incredible. Good. Big, big portions. We gotta fuel us on our way to Cleveland. Being in the video? No, not no? at all. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your food and your meal. Everything else will be out in a second. Okay, thank you very thanks. much. Cooking raw with the Brooklyn boys. Encore. Do you want more? Here we are in Brooklyn store. It's time to hit the dance floor. John, do you want to hear some more? Because we can keep going. With this beat flowing, we can go down like Niagara Falls. It's flowing to the bottom of the water. It's getting hotter, but not today because it's raining. <laughs> I am going insane. In, and it's time for me to start naming the food that I'm going to be taming because I'm going to be eating it. I lost myself there. <laughs> the man's got... Hi everybody, Robert Cheek back in action, making it happen. I'm here in Thorold, just outside of Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, here at Brooklyn's. They've got a great vegan menu. I'm here with my friend John Sakar is here. We have an amazing food that we ordered. And what, what's super awesome is that we have incredible portions of, of really healthy food, salads full of beans and greens and avocado and all this stuff and chili and soup and then we have really convenient foods that we can have anywhere like I got this uh, sandwich here this uh there's a uh, soy chicken sandwich and some fries I mean it's not something that I eat every day but it's something that I certainly allow myself invite myself to enjoy and it's great to taste food from all these other places and thank them for putting this stuff on the menu and 